Breaking money news from NCB. I'm Khalilo Reynolds, financial journalist and educator. I just finished a press conference with the big man himself, Michael Lee Chin. And the big news is that Septimus, Bob Blake, NCB CEO for the past 21 years, is now stepping aside. He is resigning and the company is now going to be led in the interim by Bruce Bowen. You might know that name as the former CEO of Scotiabank Jamaica. He's actually been on board here at NCB since July as a special advisor. He's going to be taking over as interim CEO. Now, a lot of questions from this move because it came so suddenly. And as you know, we had the departures of Patrick Hilton and Dennis Cohen very recently. And now we have that followed by the resignation suddenly of Septimus Bob Blake. But Michael Leachin was very sure to assure us there is no disquiet. He says that they have separated on good terms. And Bob himself confirmed that during the press conference. But what is going on at NCB? Well, Lee Chin said they are delaying. What does that mean? He says they want to get closer to the customer, which means that we are likely to see more high-level resignations or layoffs, more high-level departures. Now, what else is going on at NCB? Michael Lee Chin says that this will not influence the additional public offer, the APO. He said that isn't the only source of capital that they have because they do have enough other sources to de-risk the APO. He also pointed out that they've already saved $8 billion in cost savings. Now for Septimus Bob Blake, who is 53 years old, so not yet at retirement age, he emphasized that he's been here for 21 years. The timing is right for him to step aside and give the chairman room to reset. He says he was convinced that it was the right time. Now, as for Michael Lee Chin, he was stressing a lot about EGC commitments. That's efficiency, governance, and customer service. EGC, not to be confused with his previous role as chairman as the Economic Growth Council. That's a different EGC. So these are their priorities over the next 12 months. Now, as for Bruce Bowen, who's coming in as interim CEO, he's looking at possibly 12 months. He says he's committed to being available for that period of time. Remember, it would have started in July when he came on as special advisor, but he doesn't yet know how long he is going to be here. I did ask uh, Septimus Bob Blake if he had any concerns about the direction in which NCB is moving now, especially with the focus on paying dividends, even though they now need more capital requirements as a result of Basel III. And he's like, nope. Nope, no concerns. He believes NCB is strong. Now, who is eventually going to take over as the CEO, the big man at NCB? We don't know yet, but MLC said they have strong internal candidates, but they will cast a global net. So go to the link in my bio and tap newsletter for money news like this straight to your inbox. Let's get this money. Let's get this money. <laughs> <laughs>